Welcome back, agents, to another deep dive into the secretive and enigmatic world of the SCP Foundation. I'm your guide through these classified SCP files. Today, we're venturing into the heart of chaos itself, a group shrouded in mystery, operating in the shadows of the SCP Foundation. They are the renegades, the defectors, the ones who broke away to peruse their own indecipherable agenda. They are the Chaos Insurgency. But who are they really? What are their goals? And how do they operate in the complex web of SCP containment and supernatural phenomena? Join us as we unravel the secrets of the Chaos Insurgency, piece by thrilling piece. It should be evident by now that if organizations like the SCP Foundation, the GOC, or even Marshall, Carter, and Dark shifted their focus from containment, destruction, or commercialization of SCPs to exploiting them, the consequences would be catastrophic. Naturally, there exists a faction intent on doing just that, leveraging any anomalous artifacts at their disposal to fulfill their objectives. This group is known as the Chaos Insurgency. The mission of this specialized unit, dubbed Insurgency, was to execute operations that necessitated morally ambiguous tactics and yielded politically sensitive outcomes, all while maintaining absolute secrecy. This covert approach was essential to preserve the Foundation's public image. To bolster this strategy, the insurgency members were portrayed as renegades who had abandoned the Foundation, a facade known only to the Council. Under this guise, the task force clandestinely fulfilled the Council's directives for 24 years, their true purpose shielded from public knowledge. However, in 1948, fiction transformed into fact when the so-called defectors genuinely turned rogue. The task force initiated a series of aggressive raids on Foundation facilities, strategically seizing SCPs with significant research and military value. Alongside these high-stakes operations, they also facilitated the defection of numerous personnel effectively bolstering their ranks with skilled individuals from within the Foundation. In executing their plan, the task force inflicted significant losses, presenting the O5 Council with a grave and perplexing dilemma. The mystery of what drove their once loyal agents to betrayal. The question that looms large is why the insurgency turned against the Foundation and continues to exploit SCPs. Here, the absence of a definitive narrative leaves much to speculation. While concrete answers remain elusive, the realm of theories and conjectures provides an array of possible explanations. One straightforward theory posits that the insurgency's motives are rooted in personal gain, a combination of greed and a hunger for power. This lust for dominance propelled the group to exploit potent anomalies for destructive and acquisitive purposes, aligning with the chaos aspect of their moniker. However, for those who find the notion of supernatural terrorism unsettling, there's an alternative hypothesis. The insurgency may genuinely aim to benefit humanity, but believes that neither the Foundation nor the GOC are approaching this objective correctly. Their actions, therefore, could be seen as misguided attempts at correcting these perceived missteps. The insurgency might be driven by an ambition to utilize SCPs as instruments for world salvation, contrasting the typical approach of destruction or containment. Alternatively, some theories suggest that the insurgency's intentions are not geared towards any global benefit, but rather, they are motivated solely by a desire to sow chaos. Regardless of their true motives, the chaos insurgency, akin to other groups of interest in the SCP universe, is enveloped in enigma. To gain deeper insights into how the insurgency functions, let's examine a few SCPs. Consider SCP-884, a compact handheld mirror. When used during shaving, it triggers a perceptual anomaly, causing the user to fail to recognize the removal of facial hair. This illusion leads them to repeatedly shave the same area, showcasing the subtle yet impactful nature of such anomalies. SCP-884 remained under Foundation control until a double agent, ostensibly a defector from the insurgency, advised the Foundation to transfer it to a more secure location. This advice, however, was a ruse that led to a calculated raid by the Chaos Insurgency, culminating in their acquisition of SCP-884, 
Following the exposure and subsequent execution of the double agent, the Foundation initiated a series of targeted raids on various insurgency storage facilities. During these operations, they not only successfully reclaimed SCP-884, but also uncovered extensive experimental setups by the insurgency, indicating their deep interest in the anomalous properties of this object. After an extensive two-year research period, crucial information was gleaned from an agent covertly embedded within the insurgency. The true impact of SCP-884 became clear. It subtly infects exposed individuals with a condition referred to as doubt. Manifesting gradually over years, this effect initially causes minor behavioral changes, such as compulsively rechecking locked doors. Over time, it escalates dramatically, impairing the ability to make even simple decisions. In its most advanced stage, the afflicted become incapable of making any decisions at all, a state that can tragically lead to fatal consequences. The insurgency's strategy was cunningly straightforward, to heighten the Foundation's intrigue in SCP-884 to an extent that it would affect a significantly larger number of personnel than under normal circumstances. The outcome was striking. Thousands of Foundation staff members are believed to have been impacted by the object, surpassing the losses incurred by the insurgency in their operations. This turn of events underscores a critical point. The Chaos Insurgency is far from a group of inept amateurs. Instead, they demonstrated strategic acumen, effectively outmaneuvering the Foundation in a subtle yet impactful psychological warfare. This incident was far from the only instance where the insurgency adeptly manipulated an anomalous object to deceive the Foundation. Consider SCP-1316, a feline anomaly masquerading as a typical domestic cat. Despite its perpetual appearance as a three-month-old kitten, SCP-1316 has been under Foundation care since 1948. Its primary anomalous characteristic is an apparent immunity to aging, maintaining its youthful form for decades. The Foundation operated under this assumption until a chaos insurgency raid resulted in the theft, destruction, or disappearance of several SCPs. In the wake of this incursion, the Foundation conducted a standard sweep for bugs or covert surveillance devices within the facility. It was during this security check that they made a startling discovery. SCP-1316 had been emitting a signal, like clockwork, every day for five minutes. This revelation prompted a re-evaluation of SCP-1316's true nature and capabilities. The signal emitted by SCP-1316 featured an artificially synthesized female voice reciting a sequence of numbers. Remarkably, this transmission could be intercepted by any standard shortwave radio receiver. The Foundation rapidly decoded this numerical sequence, successfully interpreting the messages that SCP-1316 had been transmitting. The day following the raid, SCP-1316 transmitted a message confirming the operation's success and inquired about subsequent instructions or the possibility of extraction. Subsequently, its transmissions revealed increasing concern, noting that the Foundation's suspicion was escalating, leading to its confinement in a solitary room and eventually its relocation to an entirely new site. In its final transmission, SCP-1316 acknowledged the Foundation's awareness of its actual function and urgently requested immediate extraction. Two days elapsed without any response, culminating in SCP-1316's final transmission a message tinged with resignation. There is no extraction, is there? Since that poignant communication, SCP-1316 has ceased all broadcasting activities. In the wake of this silence, the Foundation continues to detain it, ensuring it is fed twice daily as they maintain close surveillance over this once secret communicator. One of the most notable breaches of the SCP Foundation by the Chaos Insurgency might well be SCP-1275. Its success is such that the Foundation still harbors doubts about the insurgency's involvement. SCP-1275 is an enigmatic and fluid entity, possessing the remarkable ability to alter its volume, shape, color, and opacity at will, making it an exceptionally elusive and adaptable anomaly. 
SCP-1275 exhibits a remarkable adaptability in its physical form. It can compress and flatten itself to such an extent that it can pass through the smallest imperfections in what is presumed to be an airtight seal. Conversely, it can expand its size to encompass people or larger objects. When not contained, SCP-1275 instinctively seeks out classified documents, other SCPs or Foundation personnel, enveloping them in its amorphous form. Upon enveloping its target, SCP-1275 rapidly contracts in size, resulting in the disappearance of the enveloped object, which is apparently transported to an unspecified location. In addition to this, SCP-1275 has demonstrated the capability to expel various foreign objects from an undetermined origin. This array includes explosives, weaponry, anomalous artifacts, and even hostile operatives, all strategically used to facilitate breaches of its containment. The nature of SCP-1275's sentience remains ambiguous. It is uncertain whether it acts on its own volition or is manipulated by an external entity. However, what is evident is its active hostility towards the Foundation and its endeavors. Currently, SCP-1275 is secured in the Gobi Desert, contained within a tungsten cube. This cube is reinforced with an electrified wire lattice and filled with molten lead, ensuring robust containment measures. Additionally, it is under relentless surveillance to prevent any unforeseen incidents. SCP-1275 is suspected to have played a pivotal role in the vanishing of more than 20 SCPs from 10 distinct facilities over a span of 18 years, in addition to being implicated in the disappearance of at least 49 personnel. As observers of these events, we possess the advantage of knowing that the Chaos Insurgency is, in some manner, orchestrating the control of this entity. Meanwhile, the Foundation is actively engaged in piecing together this puzzle still working to uncover the insurgency's involvement in these mysterious occurrences. Many SCP reports only briefly reference the chaos insurgency, typically in the context of tactical encounters. Objects are frequently reclaimed following raids on insurgency storage facilities or operational bases. Conversely, the insurgency is known to execute retaliatory raids, aiming to seize SCPs from the Foundation. This back-and-forth dynamic underscores a continual struggle for control over these anomalous objects. It's reasonable to surmise that the insurgency engages in analogous operations against other entities, such as the GOC, or Marshall, Carter, and Dark. The lore surrounding the Chaos Insurgency is rich with varying narratives. Some depict them as nefarious villains, while others portray them as unorthodox heroes. However, the recurrent motif in these tales is their role as a disruptive element, consistently proving to be a thorn in the side of their adversaries. The Chaos Insurgency is depicted with just enough ambiguity to allow room for individual interpretation of their motives. On one hand, there are speculations that the Insurgency wields its power to seize control of small, underdeveloped towns, using the local populations as experimental subjects, akin to D-Class personnel. On the other hand, there are theories suggesting that the insurgency is driven by a mysterious, anomalous force beyond our understanding, uniquely positioning them as the only group capable of taking necessary actions to safeguard humanity. This range of perspectives adds layers of complexity to their character in the narrative. Our role isn't to declare one interpretation as correct and others as erroneous. Much like numerous facets of the SCP universe, the narratives surrounding the Chaos Insurgency are dynamic and subject to interpretation. However, one aspect remains clear. The Chaos Insurgency stands out as one of the few entities possessing the requisite knowledge, resources, and determination to harness anomalous phenomena in pursuit of their objectives, whatever those might be. Their actions and influence within the SCP lore are testament to this unique capability. And that concludes our deep dive into the enigmatic world of the Chaos Insurgency. From their shadowy operations to their profound impact on the SCP universe, we've explored the many layers that make them a fascinating yet formidable force. Remember, in the SCP universe, things are rarely as they seem. 
and the insurgency is a perfect example of this complexity. If you enjoyed this exploration into the SCP files, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to SCP Files for more intriguing content. Your support helps us unravel more mysteries and bring these captivating stories to light. Have theories or insights about the chaos insurgency? Share them in the comments below. We love hearing from our community of SCP enthusiasts.